Okay, so one of the questions I get a lot in the channel is, do I need an RTX 3090 to work in Unreal Engine 5 and Unreal Engine 4? So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare the RTX 3090 to the cheapest three series card, which is the RTX 3060. Now the RTX 3090 has 24 gigs of RAM and then the RTX 3060 has 12 gigs of RAM. So that's what I'm gonna do. You have a $400 card versus a $1,500 card. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive in Unreal Engine 5 and compare these two. So for Unreal Engine 5, we're going to be using the UE5 Ancient of the Valley demo, which is perfect because everybody has access to this. So that's what I'm going to be using, and we're going to have the RTX 3090 first. We're going to do it without DLSS, and then we'll do it with DLSS, and we'll do the same exact thing for Unreal Engine 5 and the RTX 3060. So let's go ahead and press F11. I'm going to press play. Press F11 to make that full screen. Now I do have a 4K monitor. And if you watch my live stream a couple of months ago when UE5 came out, I was getting around 40 to 50 frames per second, and you are seeing that again, actually right now, as you can see. So let's walk around here during the daytime, and then we'll go to the dark world and play around in there as well. So we're going to go run over that rock and then come back in. I mean, even with an RTX 3090, some people, <laughs> I don't know what that was. That <laughs> wasn't good. Some people don't think, you know, this is playable. Well, it is 4K. I mean, you can turn this down to 1440p and I think it'll be okay so here we go about 40 to 55 average so let's go and escape and then we'll play it again and this time we'll go to the dark world okay so f11 bring us to the first person not first person third person play mode and let's go So here we are in the dark nether world. About 40 frames per second. And let's go fight this boss here. It just looks really scary. All right. Oh, wait. Middle first. Ah, That's done. All right, so that's that. 40 frames per second-ish. That's without DLSS. So what we're gonna do now is actually turn on DLSS. I actually like doing benchmark like this because you're actually getting the performance instead of, you know, doing just a program that simulates it. So we'll do balanced, compile, and then save. And we'll play it again. F11. Right, so now we're getting around 54-ish, 55-ish, 60 right there. I mean, the dark world is really where it is. This is what's really going to try your computer. So right now we're hitting 60, and I just saw 70. 
So this is the balance setting, it's not even a performance setting. I mean, a lot of people think the whole DLSS thing is still kind of like a scam or whatever, but I don't know. I kind of beg to differ because I really see do I really see the performance increase firsthand. Yeah, we're getting like 60s now. And I think oh, balance is probably my favorite. Alright, so that's Unreal Engine 5 with the RTX 3090. Okay, so we have the RTX 3060 now installed. So let's take a look at my uh, performance right here. 12 gigabytes of VRAM 3060. So let's go play this. We're going to do the same exact thing we did with the RTX 3090. But I think I have DLSS on, so let's turn that off first. Yep. So let's go to off, compile, save. Looks like we're getting half of the FPS. So like 20, 30, oh, there you go, 30, 30. All right, so 25 frames per second in the Valley of the Ancient in Unreal Engine 5. Okay, this is the lowest end card. I mean, if it wasn't too crazy, if the market wasn't too crazy, the 3060 is really cheap, to be honest, if you can get one, you know? So it looks like, I mean, it's running it fine without DLSS. 27. Ooh, I don't know what it's going to look like in a dark world, though, to be honest. That's, that's where I'm afraid of. All right, so... Let's go. Ooh, yeah, it's so funny. It just slows down there. It did it here too. So about 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second. All right. So let's now go to the dark world, the nether world, the dark rift, whatever you want to call it. I'm actually surprised that I was able to run it at 30 without DLSS for a 3060. I think MSRP for it is like. $300? Okay, so here we are in the dark world. The MSRP for a 3060 is $399, so I guess it's $400, not um, $300. Yeah, I'm getting about 20 frames per second in here. This is pretty rough. I can't even imagine what the GTX 10 series peeps are doing or 2 series peeps are doing if this is getting... I mean, actually, 2080 Ti is good. 1080 Ti, I think we'll run this. No, I'll take that back. I mean, my 1080 Ti would probably still kill this. Yeah, we're uh, we're in the red there. 19 frames per second. Not doing too well. Oh, God, the heck. Ooh. All right, so we got a cutscene here. Still running real time. This is not a pre-rendered movie, so still all in engine, as long as I know. As far as I know, I mean. It's kind of cool though. And the gameplay just switches over. Like, what the? It's insane. There's no more transition. You know, you're gonna have like a really nice cutscene. And then, oh yeah, I'm getting like 18, 19 frames per second, dude. Oh, I missed. What the crap? Oh my gosh, yeah. 
Yeah, definitely not playable without DLSS. There's no way. There's no way. So let's exit out of that. So here is the hyped DLSS. Or is it hyped? Or is it really that good? I know a lot of people think it's just like BS for you to buy like an RTX card. But like I said before, I, I think it works. Yeah, right there. See, a 40 to 50. That's definitely a lot better than 20s. There's 30. All right, let's go back. Yeah, I'm getting about 40 now. So pretty much with DLSS, you're running the same frame rate as you would with an RTX 3090 without DLSS. So that's crazy if you think about it. It's like you're paying $400 for a card that has the same performance as a 30x 3090. Kind of cool. So, yeah, this is 40 frames per second now. Lot smoother. And I think for the sake of it, let me go ahead and do a uh, ultra performance on this. I just I'm just curious to see how much more FPS we can squeeze out of it. At ultra performance that is. Yeah, this is a lot smoother than 20 frames per second. It's that DLSS mojo, man. Oh, obviously, some people probably won't think this is playable because it's not 60, but, you know. We'll get there. Yeah, we're getting like 36 here now in this cutscene. Alrighty, let's see. I have him blast me once. Ooh, that's rough. Alright, push your shoulders. That's what it feels like to play with a bot. They don't fight back. Alright, so we're about 43, 40 frames per second. Definitely doable, man. Definitely doable. So one last thing before we go is in Unreal 5, we will do... Let's do Ultra Performance. Alright, come on, move. Okay, here we go. So Ultra Performance running at 50 now. I wonder if we can break 60 with this. Let's walk around out here real quick and then see if we can break 60 with this. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back up though. So yeah, let's let's go to the dark world. Press E. All right. Okay, here we go. Whoa, 55. We might actually break 60 here. Let's see. Ah, uh, no, no, no. But this is ultra performance. Now you can see, I mean, on my end, looking at my 4K monitor, yes, you can take, you can see that right there, it took a hit. Right here, I'm gonna try and shoot it. That area right there, that took a hit. But for consoles, man, this works. Yeah, it's a lot smoother. I mean, I was up close in that particle too, and it did pretty well. All right, all right, 40, 50, 45, eh, pretty nice. 44, 50 right here, ooh, can we break 60? 60, 60, 60, nah. That's not bad. That is not bad at all, to be honest. You're paying that card, wow. And I heard uh, the uh, AMD version of the LSS is not good. It was just hyped up, I think. The Fidelity FX or something like that. I heard it was trash. Oh, my mouse is so sensitive. That's just to show you I, I haven't played any video games in so long. Oh yeah, that's a lot smoother whenever I hit him there. No, oh, it didn't really jitter at all. It's pretty nice. Okay. 
And we are recording this externally, so I'm not using the computer to record the gameplay as well, so it shouldn't take a hit. Nice. Okay, so that's the comparison between RTX 3090 and a 3060 in Unreal Engine 5 using the UE5 demo.